these things are request types. That's what we call it. So remember I said this is running on top of a, a Jira project? Well, the first thing we need to know is what are the request types. And that's whatever we've got um, in these lists here. These are, they're grouped into different accounts. How we set those up, if you go into this, is our Jira project here, our services project. In the back end is where we actually configure our, our project. And you'll see that it's just like a normal project, but these service desk parts are, up, are the extras. So I'm going to point out a couple of these. Now, request types are basically ways of mapping the request to your issue type. Those who know Jira, your issue type is the most important thing to pick in a, when you're creating an issue, because an issue type dictates what workflow you get applied to that issue, what screen scheme, what field configuration. Basically, how the entire life of that issue or that task is going to live out is decided when you pick the issue type. And by extension, when you pick the request type here, because you've got they're mapped up one for one. But the great thing about having a request type is it gives us an extra level of, of reporting. It gives us this extra metric, because I've got two different types of request type here, get IT help and request new account, both mapped to service request. So even though it's just the one issue type, I've got an extra level. I know whether or not they wanted IT help or they wanted to request a new account when they opened it. And I can slice and dice that information for reporting or for my queues or for all sorts of things. So that's a really interesting extra thing.